here is my terminal. Well, it's very likely that you just want to use your history from time to time, isn't it? I'm just going to go to my terminal and I just say history. Well, if you're using Mac or even Windows, you have probably like Kel or on Linux. In this case, on my Mac, I'm using iTerm. Doesn't matter what are you using. So if you're using Bash or ZSH or other things, it's okay. So what I'm gonna tell you is that what you do usually is you go for a history and maybe you pipe it with grep and find something. In fact, I just wanna find something for Flutter. Well, these are all of my story. So I have so many stories. It's always like finding in the stories. There are different ways, but I want to introduce you a new way of finding story. Look at this right now. This beautiful story right now, as you see, much easier. I just use my arrow up and arrow down and I have my story here as simple as you see. I'm going to introduce you today to a new magical way of making your story on the shell much better. Here is the project that you can use. Atoyan or Atuan or whatever you want to pronounce it. So this is a magical software that makes your history much better, search is much faster, and you can use different options for that. Let's take a look at how we can get started. So it supports uh, different shells. If you use ZSH, Bash, or Fish, you're good to go. There are different ways that you can install it, either with Bash script, or you can use it with Cargo, Homebrew on Mac, and Macports, Nix, and Pacman, or Termox, even from the source code, if you wish. There's also a couple of plugins. Uh, for example, you can add that to your ZSHRC file and that will evaluate everything automatically for you. If you are still using Bash, just go ahead and copy this. And if you're using Fish, just do. That is going to install a plugin for your shells. So let's get started right now. Here is my uh, terminal. So I'm just gonna go and use Brew to install uh, this shell. I have already installed this. That's fine. And then uh, I just need to go and actually use this command altian import the zsh. That means I'm going to import my zsh history to this uh, script or this software or app. That's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna go and the next thing is you just need to add these lines, which it was in the documentation. I just copy and paste it to your ZSH. Make sure that you are making a new terminal. You restart your terminal. And what it happens is right now, I can just do arrow up and I see my history and I can actually go back, arrow up. And even I can search, I can search. I want to go like build runner and I find like all the build runner commands. So, you know, this is much easier, much faster. So, and I strongly recommend that. This is a small tip for today. I hope you can make your uh, shell script or your command line history much better on your Linux or Mac computer.